The following program is a paid advertisement. The views reflected on this show are not necessarily the views of ESPN 1000. Doctor? 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 You're listening to Sports Medicine Weekly with Steve Cashel and Dr. Brian Cole on ESPN 1000. Sports Medicine Weekly being brought to you by MedWest Associates, the number one choice for advanced orthopedic solutions, innovative products, and superior customer service. By Accelerated Rehabilitation Centers, putting patients first. By Theratech Equipment, a winning team for fast and complete recovery. By Midtown Athletic Club Oak Park, your place for small group fitness and sports performance training. And by Midwest Orthopedics at Rush, team physicians of the Chicago Bulls, White Sox, and DePaul University Athletics. Sprain your ankle playing basketball? Back pain keeping you up at night? Suffered an injury on the job? At Accelerated Physical Therapy, we can help. We are a Chicago-based physical therapy company that specializes in post-surgical ailments, workers' compensation rehab, and regular old aches and pains. We are committed to returning our patients to better health and dedicated to providing the best patient experience possible. For more information or to schedule a free injury screen with an accelerated physical therapist, contact 800-474-8300 or visit acceleratedrehab.com. Free injury screen not for federally funded payers. You're listening to Sports Medicine Weekly on ESPN 1000. Back here on Sports Medicine Weekly on this Saturday morning, I'm Steve Cashel. You can visit our new blog at smwhome.net to access prior shows, interviews, and other valuable content. Or you can go to the website, which is also sportsmedicineweekly.com. Whatever's easier, smwhome.net or sportsmedicineweekly.com. Dot com for prior shows, interviews, and other great content. Time to talk some golf. Folks, you know I'm a big golfer. I host the Golf Scene TV show on Comcast Sportsnet, a new season beginning in early June on Comcast Sportsnet here in Chicago. And we're going to talk right now with Lane LeClaire. Lane is the Vice President of Clinical Operations and the Director of Accelerated Golf for Accelerated physical therapy they do such an outstanding job they have 300 plus centers throughout the midwest and he developed the accelerated golf program for accelerated physical therapy joins us from union grove wisconsin how you doing elaine i'm doing great glad to be here oh thanks so much well uh, i'm the big golfer of the group here and uh, it's great to talk some golf. Boy, we had a miserable winter. I know you did, did too up in Wisconsin, but here in the Chicago area. And right now the, the courses are starting to open and uh, still going through a little bit of uh, snow mold on some of the greens. And, you know, um, but, hey, it's good to be outside and uh, let's get the clubs out. So I want to ask you a little bit about um, and some advice for some of the golfers out there. Talk about some of the more common golf injuries that you see, but also let's give some advice on golfers who haven't played maybe since last September, October, what they should think about going out for that first round or that first practice? Well, I would say it's it's interesting when you look at the data. With professional golfers, their injuries tend to be from overuse injuries, and their big body parts that get abused are their lead wrist. So on a right-hand golfer, it would be their left wrist and low back pain. With amateurs, it's not even a comparison. It is low back pain. And when you look at all the information, it's not overuse like with a professional golfer. It's a mechanics problem. And you think, oh, swing mechanics, sure, that makes sense because they're not as good. Swing mechanics is number two. Body mechanics is number one. So you take these recreational weekend golfers and their body just can't efficiently swing the golf club how it should be swung. And because of that, compensation is going to be made and something has to kind of take the brunt of all these compensations. And unfortunately, the back is the one that kind of gets beat up for that. Busy with Lane LeClaire, Vice President of Accelerated Physical Therapy, talking a little bit about uh, golf strengthening and recovery strategies. So um, let's talk a little bit about what you guys do at Accelerated Rehabilitation Centers when you have a patient come in and suffering from uh, a golfer-type injury. Um, talk a little bit about your centers, and do you guys have some golf-specific programs, uh, Lane? Yeah, absolutely. So we'll even use the example of the golfer that comes in with a low back pain. When they come in, the nice thing about a healthcare professional like myself as a physical therapist who specializes in golf, when they come in with back pain, we treat them just like we do anybody else that has low back pain. Is, hey, is this a discogenic problem? Is it a mechanical issue? 
Do they have instability problems? Or are they even a post-operative patient that maybe had a micro disectomy or a lumbar fusion? And therapy is pretty much the same for whatever this, their diagnosis is for the low back pain. However, it varies when we've restored their range of motion, where we've restored their strength. Their pain has significantly dropped. Well, then the question needs to be asked, functionally, what does this back need to do going forward in your life? And a lot of the golfers will say, I want to golf. I'm a golf nut. I love to golf. Well, that's where things change a little bit. So maybe a therapist that's at a clinic and says, shoot, I know how to rehab backs, but I don't know all the ins and outs about what I need to do for a golfer. Well, we have people like myself who are part of the Accelerated Golf Forum throughout our Accelerated Physical Therapy Centers. Well, the therapist just picks up the phone and says, hey, Lane, can you take a look at this guy for me? He wants to get back to golf, and I just want to make sure he's ready to go because I don't want him to go back to the course and get injured. So the patient comes to me, I take a look at him, and typically I will call the therapist after and say, hey, you did a great job rehabbing this guy's back. It looks wonderful. However, when I took him through the Titleist Performance Institute screen, I found he has about half of the range of motion he needs in his left hip, and he has about half of the mobility he needs in his mid-back that is required for a golf swing. And so you kind of visualize this guy on the first tee with that driver in his hand, swinging as hard as he can. The mid-back says, this is as much as I can rotate. The hip says, this is much, as much as I can rotate. That low back in between has to pick up the slack. So then this guy by the 18th hole thinks, wait a minute, I went to therapy, and I just played 18 holes, and all my back pain's back. Well, it's because we miss those segments, and that's where it kind of helps someone that has a trained golf eye along with the physical therapy background, assessing these patients. Visiting again with Lane LeClaire, Vice President of Accelerated Physical Therapy. I'm Steve Cashel. Sports Medicine Weekly, sportsmedicineweekly.com, our website. Uh, Lane is the Director of Accelerated Golf for the Accelerated Rehabilitation Centers. Would you say that you guys are kind of a, a one-stop shop? And uh, I noticed that uh, when I was doing some research on you guys, Lane, at Accelerated Golf, Noticing that you guys are not really a competitor to the neighboring PGA professionals, but more of a complement to their business, would you agree? Yeah, and the, the group I try to get out to the most, I think a lot of therapists and fitness professionals over the years tried to be a one-stop shop for all golfers, and I think that was such a huge mistake. The thing that they really pushed with the Titles Performance Institute is you need a really good TPI medical guy on your team. You need a good fitness guy. And probably the most important part of this is you need a PGA professional. My job and my strengths are looking at musculoskeletal movement patterns, and that's what my specialty is. I'm not teaching someone how to hold on to a golf club. I'm not teaching somebody how to swing a golf club. If anything, I will be the first one to tell my golfers that come in, I'll say, listen, over the last 20 years, you've built a golf swing around all these physical limitations that you had, and you've gotten used to that golf swing. And when I loosen up everything, when I stabilize what's weak, when I do all that for you, and now that you have this body that can efficiently move for a golf swing, I fully acknowledge that I probably really screwed up your golf game. And I need that PGA professional on the other end for me to pick up the phone and say, hey, Pete, I'm sending so-and-so to you. He is moving great. He should not have any pain coming back now that he's golfing again. However, you need to break down now all these old bad habits he had because he had to swing the golf club like this. He doesn't need to do that anymore. You can rebuild his swing. He's going to be very happy moving forward with his golf game. And finally, Lane, that's good information. Uh, give us some more good information. And as we wrap up here, some advice for people to try to um, prevent the golf injuries and maybe as they get started here in this golf season, some things they can do to a warm-up and also a post-round. Sure. I would say one of the biggest problems we have with the states that we live in, and I'm up in Wisconsin and you're down in Illinois, we're dormant for five months out of the year. And as much as good as our intentions are, we will go on and say, we we're going to warm up, we're going to do this and that. Well, the first nice day in May comes along, it's 68 degrees, we run to the course and play 18 holes of golf. And wonder why three days later our back's killing us or our knee's killing us. And that's great for my business as a physical therapist, but it's horrible for your golf game when we only have such a small window of time that we can play golf. And I think the other big thing is really trying to get yourself to someone like myself who's a movement expert and knows a lot about golf. So 
I'm a sales performance institute medical professional, and you can find someone like myself just going to www.mytpi.com. And are also within um, Nike 360 has a fantastic program. Even one of our girls in Barrington, Illinois, runs a program, and again, wonderful things the golfers say about her program. Terrific. As we wrap up, Lane, uh, just give us uh, the website once again for Accelerated Rehabilitation Centers. Sure. It's www.acceleratedphysicaltherapy.com. Wonderful. Great information. Hey, can't wait to hit the course myself. I've been so busy, you know, with Bulls basketball and Sports Medicine Weekly and uh, my other full-time job, and it's just uh, crazy. But, uh, hey, we're going to get the course uh, going here, and our golf club's out, and uh, can't wait to play. So I appreciate you joining us. Lane LeClaire from Accelerated Physical Therapy. Thanks, Lane. Thanks for having me.